Dreams of rebooting FTX face cold reality that its technology wasn't well regarded woefully high latency, bugs in the API traders used to interface with FTX and coding mishaps plagued the exchange, according to several former clients who spoke to Coindesk. Oliver Knight, Helene Braun Brett Harrison founder and CEO architect Don't Miss FTX, what happened with the former president of FTX's U.S. arm and Anthony Scaramucci. Secure your seat Brett Harrison founder and CEO architect Don't Miss FTX, what happened with the former president of FTX's U.S. arm and Anthony Scaramucci. Secure your seat Brett Harrison founder and CEO architect Don't Miss FTX, what happened with the former president of FTX's U.S. arm and Anthony Scaramucci. Secure your seat Brett Harrison founder and CEO architect Don't Miss FTX. What happened with the former president of FTX's U.S. arm and Anthony Scaramucci. Secure your seat when the new boss of FTX, John J. Ray III, told the Wall Street Journal in January that he was thinking of rebooting the disgraced cryptocurrency exchange. The comment made a splash in the industry. Before spectacularly collapsing in November, FTX had been one of largest players in crypto, with an especially big presence in derivatives trading. So a resurrection was tantalizing, both for A whose job is to maximize how much money creditors recover, and for its former customers. But interviews with people in major trading firms that once did business at FTX raise questions about whether there's really anything worth bringing back, possibly explaining why no public progress has been made since Razier catching comments two months ago. While the financial woes that ultimately wrecked FTX became clear and follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.